My lovely little scopers, how are you all today? I wanted to jump on and do a quick scope for you guys uh, as I'm just back from the launch of a networking event and I want to share a couple of really cool tips that I learned. Um, well, actually that I shared with others um, because I was the guest speaker today as well. There we go. Oh, fix the hair as always. Oh, Amanda, hello. You're most welcome. How are you? I think I saw some, um, were you, oh, anyway, I saw some lovely things on Facebook, on your Facebook profile. We can chat about that later. But I'm loving, loving, loving stuff you're doing. Good morning to you. So, yes, I wanted to jump on board. I am back. Yeah, I saw some really nice Facebook things for you. I'm going to, I can't remember what it was. I think it's, is it a boot camp you've got going on? But I love the images. So I wanted to talk today, because I'm just back fixing the hair again, just back from the launch of our networking event here in our local area for the Biz Mums group. And I was sharing some tips about networking for my lovely ladies there. And I thought I would actually just share it with you guys as well. Why not share a bit of love? So if you think this is a topic other people need to hear, uh, applies really well for network marketers or people who just want to get out and promote themselves and build relationships in their local network this is for you. I would love it, love it, love it if you were to swipe, tweet it out, uh, invite some followers there by clicking on my little Perry dude and I will do my introduction for y'all. Uh, my name is Lisa Barwise. I am the Wellpreneur, all about lifestyle and learning. I'm a holistic health coach, personal trainer, online marketing specialist and business mentor for people in the health, well-being, fitness, network marketing and coaching spaces. I take people from part-time to profitable while still serving from their passion-based mission. So I wanted to talk today, as I said, about networking. So the couple of tips that I gave um, earlier were about like face-to-face -face networking, but all of these are really super duper easily applied to social media. And I think that what we tend to do is completely get the concept of networking wrong. Like we get it so wrong that you end up doing things like what I received yesterday, which was I actually got three messages uh, yesterday that were really spammy, trying to recruit me for this, that, and the other thing, and really didn't understand uh, marketing, building relationships, and understanding how how it, it can actually work for you. So the question I have first and foremost is, have you ever sent a direct message to somebody that you didn't know and asked them to look at a product or join your team as a network marketer? Now, this is something that we are encouraged to do by our upline and our network marketing companies. But the problem is it's got nothing to do with that person. In fact, it is often the most, um, no, well, good for you, Amanda. I'm so glad to hear it because otherwise I would be telling you off now because it's one of the most kind of inhumane, anti-humanitarian things to do. You're basically objectifying a person thinking, well, this person would be great on my team without actually finding out anything about them, finding out what their goals are, what their dreams are, what, what would actually help them. We are so blinded by the thought that our product is best, well, how we're doing things is the best way that we don't actually stop to engage with the person and say, look, could this work for you? Would you like to be trying something new? You know, would you like additional income or whatever that is and have the, the, the grounds of a solid relationship? Now, why don't we do that? Because it takes more effort. I mean, it takes more effort to build relationships. It's also not instantaneous. And quite a lot of the times we're pushed for targets and we're pushed, you know, to do certain things by certain months. Now, the problem with that is that you don't spend the time to, to, to create good, solid relationships with, with people before you just go to the jugular and try to get them to, to buy something from you. So here's the question I have, and these are the five tips. I give five tips today. That's my dog. The first tip was um, about, you know, having a really good introduction. So, oh, hello, Sabrina. You're most welcome. So do you have an introduction that you do if you are in a network marketing event? Maybe it's the same introduction you do on Periscope, any of your videos. Now, the key thing with an introduction is not just the usual name, rank, and serial number. Hi, I'm Lisa. I am a personal trainer. Here's my email address and how to get in touch with me. Yes, by all means, let people know, you know, your, you know, what it is that you do, but also what is it that you do to serve others? Hi, you're most welcome, Sabrina. So what, what else do you do to serve others? So I'd say I take people from part-time to profitable while still serving from their passion-based mission. That's my little statement that helps people understand what it is that I do for other people. 
Um, and that's what you need to get down pat is a really good, what I like to call a technicolor introduction. It's a 30 second kind of elevator pitch it's been called in the day. But it's not just who you are, your name, rank and serial number, so to speak, but a little bit about the benefits or about the transformation or the journey you take your clients on. So it's a little bit more about I help, you know, we were dealing with somebody who was doing baby massage today. You know, I help uh, mummies of colicky babies to help their digestive systems and make sure that they sleep really well and can really help their development through baby massage. There you go. That's a really, really good introduction. The key thing also about networking is being very, very clear on what it is that you're looking for. Because if you are going to a networking group, especially a group like we had today where it's going to be a clo uh, close-knit group of mums, who are all going to come together, or females, definitely female entrepreneurs, who come together. It's all about empowering and educating them so that they can be your ambassadors for your business, okay? So at, when we're self-employed and we don't have a team and it's just us, you know, we don't have a sales team. We don't have our own marketing departments. We are everything. We wear all the hats, right? So if you go to a networking event, it's your job to educate the other people in the room on what you're looking for, not on trying to recruit them or sell to them. Does that make sense? So the whole concept of networking is that you could dial up anybody in your network and say, here, here, Joanne, do you know somebody who would be interested in uh, this new fitness program I've got going on? Uh, is there somebody that you can think about? So it's not them that you're selling to. It's they become your advocate. They become a part of your sales team. And for that, you reciprocate as well. So that's really important, knowing what it is that you're going for. Another top tip that I shared today was that nobody goes to a networking event to buy anything, right? Very few people go on Facebook to buy anything either. They normally go in, they end up maybe buying something, but they normally go in just to have a look around, just to see what's going on with their friends and on their newsfeed. They might go in to book an event, which is slightly different for Facebook, but that's fine. But we don't really go on there to buy things. We go on there to network, we go on there to find out what's going on. So again, it's your job to educate you know, your followers, but also educate people that follow you on what you're looking for, you know, because it suddenly could be, oh my goodness, I know Lisa, she's looking for um, somebody to partner with uh, to do interviews on her blog. You, you know, you think you'd really like that. So it's trying to figure out other, other ways to make those connections. And the last tip I want to give you, because I don't want to make this a long scope. Uh, the last tip I want to give you with regards to networking is you know, always build the relationship, always come from a position of giving, okay? So when you come into a room or in a networking group, which is like walking into a room, come with that generosity of spirit and of adding value to the group. And how do you do that? You start with the question, how can I help you today? If you will go along to a normal networking event and the first thing you say to them is, how can I help you today? Like, how can I help you grow your business? How can I help you find the perfect customer? How can I do that? Then you're going to be remembered. You're going to be valued. You're going to be respected. And as uh, the relationship grows, people will refer people to you. They may even buy in your products and services at some point, but understand you're in it for the long game. Add value, givers gain, make sure you farm before you hunt. Very important. So that's it. That was my top, top tips. Be sure to make sure that you network with me online. I would love for you guys to reach out. By all means, you can do that with, let me try, the Wellpreneur Network. We network on there quite regularly. In fact, a lot of my ladies have just said that um, I had a, um, in the networking event today, I had a few people say that they've actually shared numbers. They've gone along to other webinars engaged in other people's services you know it really works for with regards to a network and also you know if you want to reach out to me if there's somebody that you're looking for some way i can help you with your business that's what i'm here to do add value to to you so check us out at lisabarwise.com but that's it make sure givers gain make sure you're giving make sure you're adding value and in that way you'll never 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 spam again so i hope that was helpful it was lovely to see you or see you guys
Well, you see me. Lovely to, to connect with you guys through Periscope, Amanda and Sabrina. Hope you're still on. I would love it if you thought this was good. If you would tweet it out, invite your followers. Maybe they'll catch the replay. And, oh, thank you for these lovely little hearts. And I look forward to connecting with you guys tomorrow when, um, oh, thanks, Zingzor, Zingzoran. And I look forward to connecting with you again tomorrow where I'll be scoping as well. Oh, thank you, Amanda. Thank you. Thanks for the hearts. Okay, I shall see you all later. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. Peace out.